Hello friends, fellow crocheters. I am back after a short holiday break. Happy New Year. I would like to wish all of you lots of creativity and fun crochet projects in 2021. Today's tutorial is for a very simple, very easy baby blanket. This pattern is completely suitable for beginners. Oftentimes beginners make double crochet blankets as their first or one of the first projects. And my blanket today is a slightly elaborated, slightly more advanced version of a double crochet blanket. To make this blanket, I used light worsted 100% acrylic yarn. Specifically, I used Snuggly Wuggly by Loops and Threads, about 1000 yards. And I work with a hook size G, 4.25 millimeters. The finished measurements of my blanket are approximately 40 inches long and 31 inches wide. I will make a small sample to demonstrate this stitch and I will work with the same materials but instead of the lavender color I will use pink color yarn for my sample. The pattern can be easily adjusted to a bigger size, you can make a full sized afghan. The written pattern is available on my website olgapoltava.com and I will leave the link in the description box below. The starting chain for the blanket is 119 chains which is a multiple of 14 plus 7. I will make a sample and I will start with 49 chains. Here I have 49 chains and I'm ready to start my first row. Into the fourth chain from the hook I will make a double crochet. We never count the chain on the hook, we always start counting from the next one. 1, 2, 3, 4 and over here I make a double crochet. And these three skip chains count as a double crochet as well. Next, into the next chain, I will work a small popcorn stitch. And here is how I do it. Into that chain, I work three double crochets. One, two, three. So here I work three double crochets into the same chain. Now I drop this loop from the hook and I insert the hook from the front to the back through the first double crochet of these three double crochets. So over here under the two loops, right here, I insert the hook and then I grab this loop that I dropped before and I pull it through and now I have a small popcorn stitch. Next into the next chain I work a double crochet. Now one chain. Next I skip the next chain and into the next one I work a double crochet again. And again one chain. And I repeat it again. Skip the next chain into the next one make a double crochet then one chain skip the next chain into the next one make a double crochet and one chain skip the next chain and into the next one make a double crochet and so far i have one two three four five i'm gonna do it two times more so one chain skip one chain and a double crochet into the next one and again one chain skip one chain and a double crochet into the next one so now i have six of these chain one spaces one two three four five six now the pattern begins to repeat from here into the next chain I will work a small popcorn just like this one. So I make three double crochets. One, two, three. I drop the loop from the hook. I insert the hook through the first double crochet under the two loops and I grab that loop and pull it through. Now into the next chain I work a double crochet. 
And now I will make chain one spaces and double crochets just the way I did over here. One chain, skip the next chain, double crochet into the next chain. Again, one chain, skip the next chain, double crochet into the next one. And I continue doing it until I have six chain one spaces. One, two, three, four, five. So I need one more. Now I have six. And again, into the next chain, I make a small popcorn stitch. One, two, three, pull it through, then a double crochet into the next chain. And again, I start making chain one spaces and double crochets. So one chain, skip the next chain, double crochet into the next one. One chain, skip the next chain, double crochet into the next one. Okay, and now I have three chains left. So into the next one, I make a popcorn stitch. One, two, three. Then a double crochet into the next chain. And now I have one chain left. And I finish this row with a double crochet into this last chain. So here I have my first row. I turn my work and I start row number two with three chains. These three chains will count as my first double crochet in this row and in every following row. Next, I make a double crochet into the next second double crochet. Now one chain and I skip the next popcorn stitch and into the next double crochet I work a double crochet. And now I will work a double crochet into each chain one and each double crochet all the way to this next popcorn stitch. So into the next chain one, I work a double crochet. And I'm working my double crochets directly into the chain one and not chain one space. However, you can work it into the chain one space as well. It doesn't really matter. I think it looks better this way, but it's really up to you. So again, into the next chain, I work a double crochet and into the next double crochet, I work a double crochet. Again, a double crochet into the next chain one and a double crochet into the next double crochet. And I continue making double crochets all the way to the next popcorn stitch. Over here, this is a double crochet before the popcorn stitch and I work a double crochet into that double crochet. I must have 13 double crochets in total. Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 13. Next, I make one chain, I skip the popcorn stitch and I work a double crochet 
it to the next double crochet and the pattern repeats from here I work a double crochet into each chain one and I work a double crochet into each double crochet across to the next popcorn stitch And again, I must have 13 double crochets here. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 13. Again, one chain. Skip the next popcorn stitch and work a double crochet into the next double crochet. And again, continue making double crochets into each chain one and into each double crochet and I'll see you at the end of the row. Here I am at the end of the row two. Next I make one chain, skip the next popcorn stitch and into the next double crochet. I make a double crochet and then I have one more double crochet which was a turn in chain three and I finished this row with a double crochet into that last double crochet or turn in chain. So here I have two rows finished. I turn my work and start the next row with three chains. And now the next six rows are going to be very simple and they are going to be exactly the same. I will make a double crochet into each double crochet. So here I make a double crochet into the second double crochet. And above each chain one space, I will make one chain. So I make one chain and then I work a double crochet into each one of the next 13 double crochets. So here I made 13 double crochets. Next I have chain one space so I make one chain and now I start working a double crochet into each one of the next 13 double crochets. That's how I will continue crocheting this row and I'll see you at the end of it. And here I finished this row. So in the beginning of the row I have two double crochets then 13, 13, 13 and at the end I have two double crochets again. So I turn my work and the next row is going to be exactly the same as the previous one. So I'm going to work five more rows simply making double crochet into each double crochet and making chain one space over each chain one space. Here I completed a total of eight rows and the last six rows were absolutely the same. And the next row is going to be a row similar to row number one. So it will be a row with double crochets, chain one spaces and small popcorn stitches. So I start that next row with three chains. One, two, three. Then I make a double crochet into the second double crochet. Next into this chain one space I will work a small popcorn stitch. So on the bottom here I had a popcorn stitch and now I will make one on the top over here. So into the next chain one I make three double crochets. One, two, Three. Now I drop the loop from the hook, insert the hook through the first double crochet of those three double crochets, grab the loop and pull it through. And my small popcorn stitch is ready. Next into the next double crochet I make a double crochet. Now I will work these double crochets and chain one spaces. So I make one chain, I skip next double crochet and into the next one I work a double crochet. Again one chain, I skip the next double crochet 
and into the next one I work a double crochet. And I continue crocheting this way until I have six chain one spaces in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Into the next chain one, again, I will work a popcorn stitch. So three double crochets, one, two, three. I drop the hook, I drop the loop from the hook and I make my popcorn stitch. And into the next double crochet, I work a double crochet. And again, over here, I will work these chain one spaces and a double crochets. So one chain, skip next double crochet, double crochet into the next one. One chain, skip one double crochet, double crochet into the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six chain one spaces. And into the next chain one, I work a popcorn stitch. And then a double crochet into the next double crochet. And this is how I continue crocheting this row all the way across. And at the end of the row, I finished with a popcorn stitch and then two double crochets. So over here, I have one pattern repeat, the vertical pattern repeat of my pattern. And you can see the design. So these are squares with popcorn stitches in each corner. And from this point, the pattern begins to repeat from row number two. I'm not gonna show it in my tutorial, but you can just go back to row number two and everything will start repeating from that row. Here I completed one more vertical pattern repeat. Now I have two rows of squares, so three by two, and I'm gonna make one more and then I'll start working on the trim. Here I made my sample three squares by three squares. And the original blanket is eight squares over here and nine squares over here. So the original blanket is eight by nine. The last row must be row number nine. It's a row of double crochets, chain one spaces and small popcorns. And now all I have to do is to work around the blanket to make a trim. The trim that I made on this blanket is very simple. It's only two rounds of single crochets and here is how I'm going to work them. After I finish my last row, I'm not going to turn, but I'm going to continue crocheting over here into the ends of rows. I start with one chain and into this last double crochet, in top of it, I work three single crochets. One, two, three, because this is my corner. Next, I will be working into each end of rows and into each end of row, I will work two single crochets. One, two, then into the next one. One, two, again, one, two, and I continue crocheting this way all the way to the next corner. And over here, the next corner, into the corner stitch, I work three single crochets. One, two, three. And now I will continue crocheting into the original chain. And I will work a single crochet into each chain. And I'm gonna crochet over this little tail of yarn so it gets hidden. And at the next corner into the last stitch I make three single crochets. Now I will continue crocheting into the ends of rows and into each end of rows 
I work two single crochets. One, two, one, two. In the corner stitch I make three single crochets. One, two, three. And now I continue crocheting into the last row, making a single crochet into each stitch and into each chain one. And at the end of the round I join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. Now I will make one more round of single crochets, making a single crochet into each single crochet and into the corner stitches I will make three single crochets. So I start with one chain, single crochet, then the next one is my corner stitch. So over here I make three single crochets. And now I work a single crochet into each single crochet all the way across to the next corner and in the corner stitch I will make three single crochets. And here I finish the second round of single crochets. I joined with a slip stitch and this is it. This is how I made this simple blanket. Of course you can elaborate your trim, you can add scallops, shells, whatever you want.